Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Michelle. This is my husband Steve. Hi. And we've just finished filming the boyfriend slash husband tag. And now we've reversed it and we're going to do the girlfriend slash wife tag. I'm the wife. And you're not going to ask your girlfriend. No. No. How do you think you're going to do? <laughs> not very well. <laughs> okay. Where did we meet? We met online. We met at Love at Lycos. But I think I remember seeing you on another dating website. Possibly, but I can't remember that. What that was. No, I, I don't remember. either. Was you on more than one? I think I was doing one website and then I stumbled upon Love at Lycos. Yeah, I don't even know. Because I do remember on the day that we started chatting, I'd sort of given up on looking for love online. I just couldn't be bothered with it anymore. And I thought, oh, do you know what? I'm going to just email some guys that I like the look of and see what happens. And Steve was one of the ones that replied back. And uh, we just started talking, didn't we? And we used to talk did. on um, MSN Messenger, which yes, I don't yeah. even think that's around anymore. No. You kept asking me out for the coffee and stuff, and I kept ignoring you asking me. He was like, offering, <laughs> he was offering to like come and fix my computer. I was like, yes, no, yeah, because your computer broke. And I said, oh, do you want me to come with yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. I was picking up a new one. That's and it. then you was doing that exam for work. And then you was going to our beef, it, weren't you? That's it. Yeah. And then obviously when you came back, I think I was having quite a stressful time with something. And mum had Liam for the weekend and... She said we could go out. She said like I could have a free weekend, and that's when we arranged to go out for the night. Oh no, I think we were no, we no. went out a weekday. It we was a weekday. We Friday. We went out on a Friday for the first day. Because I went home obviously, so mum and dad could get back home. The long weekend was when we went bowling and then we saw Harry Potter. Yeah, that was sort of our second and thirdish sort yes. of dates. That's it. Very good. Uh, we've kind of answered where was our first date almost yes always, because yeah. our first date will be the same as what we said before but yeah that was at Libby yes. in Rockford we sort of said we'll just go for drinks we ended up ordering some food and we had, did we have a shearing platter yeah we did start, didn't we and I think I had scampi and he threw my lemon in the vase <laughs> I did <laughs> bloody vandal <laughs> <laughs> and what was your first impression of me my first impression of you was that you was absolutely hilarious <laughs> really really hilarious and when did you first meet my family I first met your family, I think it was around your sister's house. Do you know what I have I don't remember. Really I do, because obviously, because he was in Cash in the Attic with his family. <laughs> yes. And um, he'd shown me the, the video of the episode. And I remember saying to your mum and dad, oh, I recognise you off the telly. <laughs> I'm sure it was around your sister's house. Because we've obviously met before Christmas. So I yes. think it must have been around a Christmas, maybe New Year's or something. No, it wouldn't have been New Year's. I don't know. If, do I have any weird obsessions? If so, what? Yeah, me. <laughs> Are you the weird part or the obsession part? Yeah, I'm the weird part. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think you have any weird obsessions. No. I know I when we first started going out, you did, and I'm going to really embarrass you now, yeah. you used to only wear certain colour shirts on certain days. I did. You don't do that it's anymore. A bit OCD, wasn't it? You don't do that anymore, do you? No, not at all. And also, you were really obsessed with having your DVDs in alphabetical order. I also lay, used to lay my clothes out on the night, ready for the next yeah, day. Yeah, which I used to think was really odd. I was just like, just pick your fucking clothes <laughs> out the wardrobe, for God's sake. Yeah. And so I kind of got you out of the habit of doing that. So that was kind of a bit obsessive. Oh, and I also remember you used to be obsessed with making sure the lid of the toilet was closed. Yes. Down in case something dropped in it. Right, how long have we been together? Too long. <laughs> <laughs> We've been together 11 years this year. That's correct. <laughs> Do we have a tradition together? No, we sort of covered that in my... Uh... Yeah, I, I can't think of anything we kind of do as a matter of... No. course every day what was our first road trip well you said it was brighton i'm pretty sure it was and i'm pretty sure it probably was but then obviously over the years we kind of not so because we don't really do road trips over here in the uk no what about our first holiday proper holiday together do you remember that dorset one? must be yeah i think it probably dorset. was dorset but i think that was in 2006 right next one what was the first thing you noticed about me you didn't have glasses on no or well, contact lenses then didn't you? yeah i think that when I looked at your pictures, you look different in all of them. Maybe it's because I'm not the same person. Maybe. I don't know. I think in some of them you looked like you was kind of like, because a lot of them were like work do, so you always look pissed in them. <laughs> <laughs> so like you look like, I guess like a proper lad. And then when I met you, you was actually really, really polite and um, <laughs> maybe not how I was expecting you to be. I think the best thing was, was because I know like when you go on these blind dates, because you know, most of the chatting was online rather than on a phone. So, like, you think, oh, my God, what if I meet this person? They've got a really weird voice. Yeah. 
And I'm glad that you didn't have a weird voice because I remember I went on a date with someone once <laughs> and he, sound like, he sounded like Frank Spencer. <laughs> and did you not go on another date because of his voice? No, I just, he, no, he was just a bit, he was a bit strange and I kind of just sat there and started talking about my ex. and Did my, he kept calling you Betty or something? <laughs> I just, and I just like, oh my God, I've got to, I've just got to ditch this one. Bless him, you know, poor thing. But no. <laughs> What's my favourite restaurant? Your favourite restaurant is... Oh, when I go out with my mates, what's the one restaurant you go to? Oh, well, it's the Curry House. Yeah. It's not there anymore. It's not. Maharaja. It is. Yeah. Used to what was the other one you used to go to? The Bcash. Yeah, that's yeah, it. In Romford before then. Yes. I'm plugging all these places in Romford. I know. What do we argue about the most? We don't. Yeah, we do. We don't. We do. We don't. We do. Stop arguing. No, we don't. No. <clears throat> we don't argue. No. Very rarely. We bicker. Yeah. And then we get on each other's nerves a lot. We've been yeah. sort of like together for too long. It's going to be a real test, though, when we go on holiday this year. Yeah. We're going to just be each other's company <coughs> for several weeks. Oh, I think we're managing. We've plenty to do and see. And yeah, we're I know. Your big if I get on your nerves, I'll just go to Magic Kingdom. Who wears the pants in a relationship? 50-50. We decided that in my one, didn't we? Yeah, there's things you're good at, which I'm happy to leave you to. Mm. There's things I'm... But then when it comes uh, down to financial decisions, that's all down to you. Because yeah. you've obviously got, you know, you work in the financial sector, so... It makes more sense for you to make those decisions for us. Sounds I ain't got a clue. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, if I'm watching TV, what am I watching? You're watching X-Files. You're watching that funny programme you watched with Liam, the um, oh, um, Impractical, Impractical Jokers. Jokers. Brilliant. And um, probably a bit of footy when you can. Yeah. Liverpool FC. A bit of Doctor Who. Oh, God, yeah, Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Yeah, Doctor Who. What's the one food I do not like? <clears throat> coconut yes in any shape or form whether hidden or blatant yeah you don't at all Can't you won't even understand it. it yeah because i can just eat celery if really really cooked down well like there's a particular greek dish chickpeas that it goes in and i don't yeah. actually mind it in that because the, the flavor is really mellow so then you can pick it up in stock cubes as well because certain stock cubes have celery yeah, and there's you. a gravy brand as well that they use celery yeah. in and it just i can just taste it it's disgusting but you know, i remember going to a restaurant once from my mum and dad years and years ago and I asked the guy ordered tikka masala, and I said to the guy, "Has it got coconut?" And he said, "No." And, and he said, "Tasted it." I knew straight away. Ahead, it's that little sweetness mm. and the crunchy, like desiccated stuff. I just oh. and I have a desiccated coconut. So I just can't do one. It. What drink do I order when we go out? You'll just have a beer, beer or a lemonade. What beer? Bud. Yeah. If, you, if you're going to have a fizzy drink, it's going to be lemonade rather than coke. Yeah. What shoe size am I? Eleven. Ten. Ten. Eleven. I'm nine actually. Oh, yeah. Size nine. Yeah. Oh, I bet you with your little feet. <laughs> Charming. Yeah, for size nine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't buy him shoes, clearly. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Size nine. I thought he was a size 10. Oh, is Liam a size 10? I think you'll find the slippers you bought me are size nine as well. <laughs> anyway, another story. Next one. question. Now, what's my favourite kind of sandwich? Don't know. Ham and cheese toasty? She's going to say the same as me. I don't um, know. What sandwich do you have? You'll have anything, not really. Yeah, yeah, I don't really I mean, we go to Subway, you tend to get the um, steak and cheese. Steak and cheese, I love. That's good. But um, I can't sit here. Maybe because, maybe because don't forget this is an American quiz, and like the Americans are obsessed with sandwiches, aren't yeah. they? So sandwiches are not really something we do too often. No, I used to make a pretty mean um, when we had sandwiches. mayonnaise? Stuff. Yeah, because yeah, I don't do cheese. That's not fishy. When I used to... Um, have our sandwich maker out, toasted sandwich maker. I used to do like a pizza sandwich. Oh, yeah. So, like ketchup, butter, cheese, spring onion, toasted sandwich. It was awesome. Lovely. It was really, really good. What's the one talent I have? Loving me. Yeah. <laughs> Am I good at it? Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Any other talents on my hand? Um, <clears throat> you're really good at maths. Oh, thank you. I'm not bad. <laughs> You're very good at maths. You're better at maths than I am. I'm crap at maths. Well, everyone knows two and two is five. Sure. Funny, you should say as well. Humour. Yes, you are. Oh, right. But that's not a talent. That's just you. Yeah, you are. You are very witty. And you're very quick, actually. You're very quick witty. Yeah, people say that. Work. Yeah, you just... Um, it might... It'll take me a while to think of the joke. Whereas you seem to come off, like, <laughs> you know, just have it right off the bat and you've got it right there, ready to go. So, yeah, you're very quick witty. So, yeah, that's a good talent. Cool. What food would I eat every day if I could? <sighs> I have to say that's a really trick one because I'm trying to think of what I would eat every day if I had to. 
don't know. Do you know what? Oh, actually, I'll tell you what makes it a bit easier. What was one food I said I might eat my last meal? Do you remember? Remember, I made this conversation a couple of weeks ago. Did we? You sure yeah. that wasn't your girlfriend? No. The last it was one meal. thing I had, and you said, oh, it's really weird you have it like that. Super noodles on toast. And you said, that's such a weird thing to have. And I said, oh, I love super noodles on toast. Did you say what we said? Yeah. And I, I said, that'd probably be my last meal I'd have. So if you was on death row, I'd probably have super you'd noodles. have super noodles yeah. on toast. It'd probably be about 25 slices of bread and a few. I'd ask for an all-you-can-eat buffet and just not stop eating. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm trying to think of anything I'd go out of my way to actually really eat. I think the thing is with food, I'm quite a adventurous. So like, I try mm. to try... Mm. Try to try as many things as I can. Mm. So um, I can't say there's one food I really would go out of my way to try. I just try loads of stuff. Uh, what's my favourite cereal? Porridge. It's all yeah. I know you to eat, really. Yeah, I think so. Mm. What's my favourite music? You really like dance music. I couldn't name a particular track. Jean Michel Jarre. Yes. Without okay. a doubt. Yes. I know you like a bit of Kylie, The Cause. Am I missing someone? No, I, mean, I think we've got pretty similar tastes to be fair as well. You know, we've seen Stevie Wonder, I've loved Lionel Richie, we've uh -huh. seen Bon Jovi, Michael uh -huh. Bublé. Hey, what's my favourite sports team, which I think you've already Liverpool FC mentioned. next. It is. What's my eye colour? Green. Yep. Who's my best friend? Me! Yay! <laughs> what is something you, you do that I wish you didn't? Probably put myself down. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. Constantly. And you wish I didn't do that. Yeah. Where am I from? The Earth. He was born in King George Hospital. In? Ilford. Yes. Very good. What kind of cake would you bake me on my birthday? Coconut cake? You better not. <laughs> have you got like a favourite cake flavour in your head? No. Because I would probably just make you a batch of cupcakes and have done. <laughs> no, the one thing which uh, springs to mind, I don't know if you remember years and years ago, my mum might have told you the story, and I, I was going for a phase of really liking marble cake. Well, I said to oh, my mum, it's yeah, really, really yeah. marble cake. Did she do it like green or something? Green and blue and it's really weird. I mean, it's only a colouring at the end of the day anyway. <laughs> but she said, yeah, let's oh, do yeah, that. Oh, yeah, marble cake. Yeah, that's oh, quite nice. Yeah. And you quite like ginger as well, like ginger, like ginger cake. Yeah, yeah. And also you like coffee and walnut cake. Yes. Not really cakes, actually, I don't like. No. It's just cake. Not just cake. Do I play any sport? No. What can I spend hours doing? Playing on your iPad or yeah, tablet or whatever it's called. I think so. You can waste a lot of hours, but easy, I think yeah, we're all easy. guilty of that, and I think we're both guilty of yeah. that, aren't we? And the last one, if I could live anywhere, where would it be? It would be anywhere that I am. Yeah, of course it would be, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Oh. Well done. You pass. Hey. <laughs> so that's it from us. We've learned a little bit about me, or about him via me. And me via you. Yeah. So until next time. Bye. Bye.